Our first introduction to Deja Kelly came five years ago when she was just in the seventh grade. A superstar in the beginning stages who already had high hopes. We had to make a dream board and it was basically what all your dreams were. And my main ones were to play in the WNBA, um, get a scholarship. As a middle schooler, all those dreams were already starting to take shape. Five years before she could sign a scholarship, she committed to Texas. To know that um, they were on me before I was even in eighth grade, which was my goal, that's just like, that's so, like such a great feeling for me. The plan was in place, now she just had to go play. Her high school career started at Johnson and Deja was as advertised. <laughs> but plans change. She eventually decommitted from Texas and after her sophomore season, a major move. Kelly left San Antonio for Duncanville to play for the premier girls basketball program in Texas. It was extremely hard, um, you know, leaving my old coach from Johnson and then of course leaving my whole family um, from San Antonio. It was definitely tough. It was a tough transition, but once I did um, arrive to Duncanville, they, like I said, embraced me. Now the North Carolina signee is hoping to lead the Pantherettes to their 11th state title this weekend back in San Antonio. Growing up, I always came to the state tournament and watched, and um, it, it's always been a goal of mine to be here and to compete for a state championship. To, so, so to finally be here is, is to, almost surreal, and I'm just ready to play. And on Friday night, Deja and Duncanville will play in the state semifinals against the team, of course, from the San Antonio area, the defending 6A champs from Judson. At the Alamodo, I'm Travis Raychek for Spectrum News. I'm going to